So welcome back to uh, my shed. So what have I been making? I haven't made any videos recently. So uh, this is this is the reason why I've been building this. Uh, it's what's called a half beam engine, and um, well, finally tonight it's uh, it's got to the point where you know things are starting to come together. I've been obviously designing this for a while. Um, it's still a little bit sticky, uh, but you know these. Uh, I've been I've been trying to learn uh, Fusion 360, which hasn't been an easy task. And uh, the, these parts here, these connecting rods, were designed and built on uh, Fusion 360 uh, with the help from a friend of mine, uh, Simon. He's helped me build these, so I've, I've then taken them to the mill and actually built them to drawing. And uh, they, everything seems to be coming on, uh, coming on quite nicely, actually. So. Um, yeah, this is the first time I've had the uh, the actual uh, cylinder, the piston built up, and the connecting arms. You know, with the uh, with the rocker rod, with the uh, with the beam there, and obviously the beam here uh, pivots from a from a back point there rather than a, a central sort of uh, beam. And uh, well, I'm just really quite pleased to be able to hear it breathing, as you can hear there. Now. Uh, as, as you know, most of you who've watched my channel know I, my engines are all scratch built. There's no drawings or anything like that. So I sort of, uh, I basically just make it up as I go along and I'm, I make one component to fit the next. And um, the idea of this drawing, uh, I'm going to have a couple of um, couple of gears here. And the, and the reason for that is so that I can lift the flywheel up, lift the flywheel sort of up into the engine rather than having it low down and on the same uh, sort of a uh, crank pinion, you know, as the crank. And uh, the, these holes here, which are sort of uh, halfway between the uh, the uh, piston, sort of centre and the centre of the uh, centre of the beam, halfway between that is is actually going to be the crank pinion. So that'll be uh, driving a uh, obviously a you know a, a, a wheel down here. But the idea then is to uh, to drive a gear, which will drive a secondary gear, which will be able to allow me to sort of uh, lift up the uh, the flywheel. I'll just roughly pop that on there just to give you an idea. So the flywheel will be nice and sort of uh, high up. And then, you know, I've got other ideas as well where I, I want to actually be able to uh, put in a secondary sort of wheel and be able to drive a sort of a dynamo generator. Which I, which I have already built, but uh, never got around to actually sorting out. And uh, so, yeah, well, there you go. It's um, it's an engine under construction. Uh, it'll also use, uh, rather than a, a sort of a standard um, steam chest sort of thing, it's going to be using a, um, a spool valve. So that'll be a little bit different spool valve which uh, supplies the air and that that's also going to be driven by a small sort of uh, eccentric um, pivot point which is also going to be driven off the uh, the main the main uh, oh I'm struggling a bit here now which will be driven off the uh, where, the, where the crank is there'll be a uh, an eccentric drive from there which will push a rod up and drive a sort of little uh, cross cross. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what you call it. But hey, that's where I'm up to. So that's what I've been doing. I've been building this little um, half beam engine. And uh, well, uh, you know, give me another couple of months, and uh, I might have this actually up and running. So half build of my half beam engine. Thanks for watching. <laughs>